Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Working on my 2003 Ford F-150 and gonna be replacing the transmission filter along with the fluid. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and pop your hood. And then with your hood popped, you'll wanna locate your transmission dipstick to be down here on the passenger side. And we can just go ahead and pull that out for now. Now, uh, the engine is cold. Um, I did drive this around yesterday, got it real hot, and went ahead and checked my level. It was uh, right at the very top of the full line, so we should be good on the level. And then what I'm going to do is when I drain this, I got this empty old oil jug. I'll go ahead and uh, put whatever came out of the pan back into this jug. That way we can see how much came out, and we'll put the exact amount in, and then we'll double check with our level. And uh, a lot of people like to do this with the uh, transmission warm but I prefer just to have it cold. Uh, that way you don't risk burning yourself with the transmission fluid as you're pulling that pan and everything off. So one other thing, uh, when you go to buy your filter, you wanna make sure you buy the correct one because Ford made a couple different transmissions in this. And the way you can tell is you go right here where it says TR and you can see that uh, mine has a U. So that's gonna be the 4R70W transmission. Um, if you had a seven or an E there, you would have the 4R100. All right guys, so go ahead and crawl underneath the vehicle here. Of course, transmission pan. You're gonna have 14 10 millimeter bolts we need to remove. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull these uh, front ones here and then I'll slowly work my way back and then uh, loosen these rear ones here but not totally remove them yet just so that pan kind of tilts down and can drain into our uh, pan here because there's no um, drain plug on this uh, transmission pan here. And then of course, got my uh, clean uh, drain pan here. That way we can see how much comes out. And then also just a piece of cardboard because this could make a mess here. So let's go ahead and uh, get those loosened and off of there. All right, guys, so these, uh, there's two back ones here. They're kind of hard to get to. Um, I'm going to try my quarter-inch ratchet and 10 millimeter, and then you may have to tilt this pan up a little bit to get to those. All right, let's go ahead and get these last two here. Make sure you hold your pan up here. Okay, get those out. Go ahead and slowly tilt the pan towards the front here. Just make sure your drain pan's lined up. And go ahead and let that drain in there. Okay, once you get that pretty much drained there, go ahead and grab your, try to get your pan out of here. And then we can go ahead and remove our filter and you should be able to just pull down on that. 
and it should pop right out of here, right in this area right here. So go ahead and uh, let that drain some of that out there. And then also make sure this uh, little orange rubber o-ring comes off with it. All right, guys, so here's our old uh, filter. You can see that's what it looks like. Um, I ordered a new one from Amazon, and uh, they said they were supposed to be here today, but they still haven't showed up. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to put this uh, back together tonight or not. Uh, we'll see. But if not, I'll do it in the morning. And then... Uh, of course, like I said, this gasket is reusable, which I will be reusing. But we'll go ahead and clean that up. And then uh, a little bit of fluid still left in our pan here. Drain the rest of that out. And then you can see magnet right here, which I'll go ahead and remove. We'll go ahead and clean that out. Um, there's really not too much on there, so it's actually pretty good. This transmission does have, uh, it's the original one, and I think I'm sitting at like 270,000 miles on this now. So. So go ahead and uh, remove your magnet if you can here. So you can see, and then uh, I just wipe it up really good. Uh, get it nice and clean. And I'll go ahead and wipe out this pan as well. I'll use some brake clean or whatever I need to use to get this cleaned out. And then I'll also blow it out with some compressed air. All right, so as you can see, you got the pan all cleaned up. And then uh, also the magnet here. So we'll go ahead and put that back on here. And then uh, let's go ahead and empty the rest of this old fluid into our uh, empty bottle there and see how much came out. All right, so like I said, let's go ahead and... Uh, fill this old gallon size jug here grab my funnel we'll see how much came out of the uh, transmission here all right guys so as you can see uh looks like we're sitting at one two three four so about uh i'd say four and a quarter to four and a half quarts is what uh came out of the transmission from dropping the pan and pulling that filter there so we'll use that as a reference when we go to start filming and like i said before uh waiting on the amazon guy to show up with the filter but looks like he's not going to make it tonight so um, i'm gonna have to continue this video uh, in the morning when it gets here all right so the amazon guy finally showed up got my new filter here went with the uh, motorcraft ft 105 i'll put a link in the description for that but uh, I just want to compare it to your old one here. Uh, looks about the same. And then of course our new orange rubber O-ring there. Um, and then I got my pan all cleaned up, magnet back in there, and then also cleaned up the gasket that we'll reuse. And uh, this only goes on one way. As you can see, because if you flip it around here, um, you see your, your, your holes won't line up, so said this only goes on one way so don't get confused on that and let's go ahead and uh, stick the new filter up in there so before I stick my new filter up in there I'm just gonna go along the uh, edges here and then I'll uh, just wipe that down with some brake clean and rag get it nice and clean for the gasket there and then go ahead and grab your new filter and I'm just gonna take some of this old fluid here and then just coat this little O-ring here with some of this uh, fluid. Just kind of like that. Then let's go ahead and uh, stick this up in here. Right up in that hole there. And then just push that up in there until it stops. Just like that. Next, go ahead and grab your pan along with your gasket and make sure you get some of these holes kind of lined up in there. Can't really stick a bolt in there because they'll just fall right through. And let's go ahead and set this up in here. And then you kind of got to go at an angle. Uh, 
grab a few bolts and let's get those started. And I can already see my gasket turned on me a little bit here. I think we're good right there. And let me crawl over to the other side, put a few in over there. All right guys, so I'm gonna get all the rest of these started by hand and then I'll just get them snug and then we'll do the final torque. Once you get those snug, go ahead and grab your torque wrench and we'll torque those to 120 inch pounds or 10 foot pounds. And I'm gonna go in a crisscross pattern just like I did before. And then these back two looks like I won't be able to get a torque wrench in, so I'll have to do those uh, by hand. Then once you get all those torque, I'm just gonna go around them all uh, one more time, just to make sure you didn't miss any. All right, so once you get all those torqued, go ahead and grab a drip pan, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some brake clean, and let's uh, go ahead and spray this all off, get all that old transmission fluid off. So now we should be ready to fill. Go ahead and pull our dipstick here. And then uh, grab a clean funnel. I'll be using this uh, super long skinny one since we gotta fill it through the uh, dipstick hole here. All right, so before I go ahead and start filling here, I just wanna show you. So this is what came out uh, when we drained it and everything. This is gonna be stuff I'm putting in it's a Motocraft Mercon 5, which I got off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. And you can also check your ditch stick here just to make sure you're buying the right stuff. You can see that it says use Mercon 5. Or you can check your owner's manual as well. But what I want to show you was, so this is brand new, 5 quarts, never been opened. And then uh, what came out, and you can see our levels are pretty similar. I would say this is probably 4 quarts and 3 quarters. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to fill it up to, uh, about four and a half quarts cause you don't want to overfill the transmission. So I'll do four and a half. We'll, uh, check it, take it for a drive, get it up to temperature and recheck it, uh, just to make sure. Cause when, uh, I checked this, uh, yesterday, it was full before I went ahead and started, uh, draining it. So let's go ahead and uh, start filling. All right, guys, so I'm going to try that right about there. You see we're sitting right about here. So that should be about four and a half. I'll go ahead and let that uh, drain down in there. Once you feel like that's pretty much drained out of the funnel here, go ahead and pull that out. And stick our good stick back in there. And let's go ahead and start it. So go ahead and start it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly go through each gear. You can see my indicator's off. I need to uh, fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse here. Let that sit for about five seconds. Go into neutral. In the drive. Mm 
down in a second. And then down in a first. Then I'll slowly go back up all the way to park and I'll go back down one more time, waiting five seconds in between. Okay, then go ahead and uh, just leave it running. Let's go ahead and check our level. So now let's go ahead and check our level here with it running. And it is cold. Give it a good wipe first. Stick it back in there. And you can see, I'm not sure if my camera's gonna focus, but it looks like we're right at the edge there. This is going to be your hot crosshairs area. So I think what I'm going to do is just add a little more just to make it showing on the dipstick a little better. And then we'll take it for a drive and I'll get it up to temperature and then come back and add more if we need to. Alright guys, so I just got back from a little bit of a drive here. You can see there, we're at a normal operating temperature. So let me go ahead and pop the hood, and uh, we'll go ahead and check our level again. So again, go ahead and pull your dipstick. Wipe it. Put it back in there. I think we're sitting uh, all right, all right there. And uh, since we're hot, we need to be in these crosshairs here. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of that uh, transmission fluid to this. All right, so I'll let that sit for a little bit. in the crosshairs here as you can see but I think I'm gonna add just a little more um, I got a old quart here that I'll add uh, probably just about a quarter of a quart more and then uh, recheck here all right so let that sit let's go ahead and check this one more time here sitting just above uh, that little hole there. So we're within the crosshairs here. If I flip it over, you see we're about right there. So I'm gonna call that good. Um, that way we still have a little room for the fluid to expand if it gets any hotter. So it should be good right there. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, luckily, I did have this extra quart of Mercon 5 laying around. 
I did use almost half of this. Um, but originally, like I said, pulled out just about five quarts out of this. Um, but this did sit overnight and uh, was dripping into the pan there while I was waiting on that filter to show up from Amazon. And then uh, there's probably still a little bit of fluid left in the old filter. So I'd say it's probably about five and a quarter to five and a half quarts that comes out of it. So if you guys are going to do this job, you'll probably want to get six quarts, one five quart jug, and then a quart of the Motorcraft, uh, which I'll put a link in the description for that one quart as well. And again, this was a 2003 Ford F-150. Went ahead and replaced the uh, transmission fluid along with the filter. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.